Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of Bantamweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Dollar Bill's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. The babyface assassin's ring walk. Just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Good block. The baby faced assassins crush. Oh! Early on here in the round, and he's already down. And he doesn't look good at all. He was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick back knockdown. Body, but right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. In this fight, Looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. Halfway through this round here. Blocks that punch. Good job, good job. You see him holding on. Okay, that's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Forceful go, uppercut go. by Dollar Bill. It's and that's right. what Keep fighters moving. do. Keep Pulls moving. the trigger right away after taking one. Come on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. And he's holding. Good way to protect the midsection. Assassin's rocked by that punch. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Big shot. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Hands up and throw your hands. Uppercut, then left. Uppercut with the right, then left. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep them away. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to punch. That's all. You need
start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is... He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. There's an excellent combination by Dollar Bill. dismiss that body shot left to the body locks that punch reaching the halfway mark of this round Baby face assassins, right hand scores well. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice work on the combination by Dollar Bill. Baby face assassins, and banging away he goes. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. being dominated now. Yes, he got up from that knockdown, but this fight could be over at any moment. You got to think the referee's taking a look. If he's a good ref, he is, but fighters have come back. As dismal as this looks, as bad as this looks, they have come back before. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Back to the body. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, counter. There you go. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That'll put us in a position. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You doing fantastic. Just... As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, hey, and of course, you, you have that great that call. Too, Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody... Three. Big shot. The right came oh, clean. Two. Targeting upstairs. The babyface assassins giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice block by Dollar Bill. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Get boot, get boot. Good defense just covering up down get low. Get boot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. How you doing? You okay? I need to use your feet. 
Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano. You know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Dollar Bill scoring very well with the uppercut. What could his opponent be doing to defend against it better? Well, if he sees that hand drop a little bit instead of the shoulder tipping, if you drop that hand to throw the uppercut, there could be an opening. And he should look for that with the hook. Counter right back. That hand drops, bang, beat him to the mark with the hook. Assassin's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Halfway through round number four. Come on, come on. Kiss move, kick move. Body shot, the right hand came home. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end, of this round, you can right tell right that he's Order full of confidence and he can't right wait to get right back out there and continue down. doing what right. he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Stay close to this guy. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on... Big, big shot comes crashing home. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. Look at this. Dollar Bill's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.